Good morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Carrera. Today is Thursday, April 13th, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. Well, we finally found out how much it's probably going to cost you to watch the 49ers if you don't live in that market. And it's not cheap. Pricing was released by YouTube TV, and oh boy, there's a lot of numbers here. I'll try to make it as simple as possible for you. It's cheaper if you subscribe to YouTube TV. If you do it now before June 6th, it's $250 a year. If you do it after June 6th, it's $350 a year. And if you want Red Zone, it's even more money on top of that. If you are not a YouTube subscriber, and you sign up before June 6th, it's $350 per year. And if you don't sign up before June 6th, it's $450 per year. And again, if you also want Red Zone on top of that, it's even more money. This is insane. But ultimately, the NFL knows you're going to pay it. Because they know that you're addicted to the sport. They understand that you are not just going to go without. And yeah, there are other ways to watch games. There's bootleg streams on the internet. There's this, that, and the other thing that you can do. But there's pop-up ads. It's unreliable. It doesn't always work. It can be very frustrating. And they know, just like with anything in life, people will always pay for convenience. That is universal, no matter what business you look at. That's why convenience stores sell things that are in supermarkets and they sell it for more money because they're charging you for the convenience. And as human beings, if we have that money, we will always pay for it. And in a way, it kind of makes sense, right? Because all the money in the world never bought a second of time. And that's really what you're getting back when you do the convenient thing. You're getting back the most valuable possession you have, and that's your time. That said, this is a lot of money. And this is probably the cheapest it's ever going to be, right? They're not going to lower the prices going forward. So $250 a year if you get the sale price, $350 a year if you don't, on top of your YouTube TV subscription. Without that, $350 per year with the sale or $450 per year without the sale. That is a lot of money. That's like $20 a weekend to watch your team. And for some of these people, your team stink, right? Like if you are you know, a fan of a team that has struggled, that has been really, really bad for a really long time, say a Lions fan before last year, you want to plunk down $20 a weekend to watch that slop when the game could be over by the second quarter, man. But ultimately, like I said, the NFL knows. They know you're going to pay it. You know you're going to pay it. And so ultimately, we could stamp our feet and hold our breath and do all that stuff, but they know they got us. And it's incredibly, incredibly frustrating. And we all know what we want. We all want to be able to just say, here's 150 bucks a year. Just give me access to the 49ers games and nothing else. And I will happily pay you the money, right? That's what everybody wants. Everybody except the NFL because they know they can charge 250 or 350 or $450 a year. And you're still going to pay it anyway. That's why they have always fought this whole idea of, selling individual team packages. They've always fought that kicking and screaming because they know they're going to make more anyway. And it's just the reality of the situation. We don't have to like it, but that was pretty much the biggest news in the sports world this week. And I hadn't mentioned it yet on the show, so I wanted to do that before the week was out. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Thursday. We are two weeks away from the NFL draft And if you want to study up before the big day, there is no better way to do it than with Dane Brugler's 2023 draft guide. It's out in the athletic now. This thing is incredible. It has information that you'll never find anywhere else on every single player in the draft, stuff about their family life, how they were brought up, their siblings. It's a deep, deep dive on every single player. I use it to research my draft crushes every year. And then, of course, after the picks are made, I go back and study up again. I even look at past years. Once we learn a little something about these guys, this is an invaluable resource. Trust me, it is well worth the money. One thing to watch, the Kittles have apparently built a football field in their backyard. It's really pretty sweet. 
You can actually see the video of the field. We tweeted it out from our handle at GS Podcasts. One thing you may have missed, former 49ers quarterback Colt McCoy is going to be the starter for the Cardinals while Kyler Murray recovers from his torn ACL. But guess what? He's also going to be calling football games for NBC, not NFL games, USFL games over the summer. Nothing is going to conflict with his Cardinals responsibilities because of the schedule sort of line up. So it works out. But Colt McCoy is going to be in the booth. I think he might be pretty good. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and five. Please rate, review and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Enjoy your Thursday, everybody. Stay tuned for the Gold Standard Podcast with myself and Levin Black. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. We'll talk tomorrow. <laughs>